Hey truckers, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. We're transporting some flour to, uh, well, from Wenatchee to Port Angeles via a ferry that we've just used to get from one side to the other. And now we only have a short drive to Port Angeles over there to complete our delivery and then get the next job. So let's go. Look at that, we're in a ferry. Okay, Yeah. here we go. All right. Let's get going. Parking brake. All right. Let's take this easy. We don't want to break something. Ten miles per hour. Okay. So where are we going? We're actually going left. Oh, I thought this was a two-way road, so... Yeah. I'm gonna have to go through the full line. Our customers expect delivery very soon. Seriously? How long do we have? One hour and fifty-two. Whoa. Okay. We kinda have to get a move on. Stay left and then turn left. Alright. Turn left. Once again, I don't see the <laughs> I don't see the bloody traffic light. There we go. <laughs> I'll have to take off this visor. Who got the idea of a solid visor? Why not just a mesh thing or something? Come on. I need to get going. One. Yeah, when we're, uh, when we only have one hour to do the delivery, the music will actually change to this dramatic track. Power! No, 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 I need power. Power! No. Good. Thought he was gonna cut me off. Thankfully, no. Clutchless shifting! I love it! I think it's called floating gears, but... You know. Are we actually coming to an intersection here? Get ready to turn right. Alright, we'll do so. Fine, let's go. Need to move my camera. It's a very pretty area. I have to go there some sometime. This is brilliant. All this greenery and the sea. Love it. Excuse me. Power! We need to get there. Because remember, we just don't need... We don't just need to get there, we also need to park. Alright, 55, at least we... We have a good speed available here. Oh, it's gonna get a little bit bendy, actually. Oops, missed my gear actually. There we go. Eh, bendy, but we like bends. They're fun. Okay, there's the destination. How much time do we have? 41 minutes. That's not much. Oops, my trailer is drifting towards the other lane a little bit. So we've got to be careful. Okay, good, the left lane is open. Well, actually, it's free. 
35 is the speed limit. We'll try to go as close to 39 as possible. Is there a stop here? I didn't quite see. It's fine. We don't want a red. Go straight. Okay. Stay left and then turn left. Turn left. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes you can also turn left on a red, but not in this case, I believe, because it's not a one-way street. Um, come on! We're not that heavy. Stay right. Oh, come on, we don't need more reds. Well, I think we'll be fine, though. 31 minutes. Nice. <laughs> It's ticking down fast, though. Come on. Come on. Give me a green. Ah, you son of a... Come on. Jeez. Uh, do we have to go here? Yes, we do. Turn right. Here we are. Safe and sound. Where do I need to place it? Oh, that's gonna be tight! It's gonna be tight! Come here, trailer. I'm guessing we have to back it up here. Uh, yes, we do. Okay. So we kinda do have to hurry up. Where's the- Oh yeah, I have the music disabled. That's why there's no music. Gonna turn more. That's gonna be too much. Darn it. I'm gonna have to straighten it up. Okay. Oops. Wrong way. I'm looking at the mirror there as well. time do we have? 26 minutes, plenty. Okay. Yeah, the music, the dramatic music is not playing because I have music off. That's why. There we are. All right. There's the flower, sirs. 260 miles. That was, um, yeah, quite eventful. <laughs> Continue. Excellent. All right. So, let's uh, check out our drivers, actually. I wish you could click on them, and it would tell you not just the average pro profit, but the whole profit. The entire profit they all uh, they made in their lifetime in the company. But unfortunately, that's not possible. This guy is getting paid very well at the moment, yeah. See, we're <laughs> getting paid 47 uh, well, it's not bad. All right, we could always buy yet another truck because we do have the money for it, and get another. In fact, you know what? I'll probably do that because if I go to the garage manager, we do have one more space here and space for one more driver. So yeah, we are going to buy another truck. Truck dealers. What do we want? Let's get a Volvo, because we already have Kenworths and Peterbilts. I'm not sure I can actually buy online at this dealer. Yes, I can. Okay, good. So, obviously, we're going for the best option. Volvo VNL 780. Let's customize the configuration. Alright, we've got the, yeah, the biggest sleeper. Look at that. Those exhausts and resonators. Uh, we want the 300 gallons. We want the... Oh, there's a Volvo and a Cummins engine. 
interesting. They're exactly the same in pretty much everything. The power, the torque. Um, actually, the Volvo produces the same amount of torque at, all, at a thousand RPMs already versus 1200 for the uh, Cummins. So we'll just stay with this. That's pretty nice and powerful. Uh, 18 speeds. No retarder though. Let's get this one with the retarder. Because that's quite useful. Look at that. How much it goes up. Jeez. And yeah, that retarder does help a lot. It's quite nice. We've got the elite interior. Uh, let's also give it a snazzy color. Whoa. Oh. Oh, it's like an Indian scheme, I suppose. I think. X for Xmas. <laughs> Deeply frozen. Night Rider. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I kind of like that. Seal Team. There's so much stuff. We were here. F we were first. Burning. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that skull. Okay, let's let's do the. Oh, that one's cool as well. Also the color. Let's do the Night Rider. I kind of like that. All right, so that's and then of course we need lots and lots and lots of accessories. Obviously, everything needs to be chrome. Obviously, need a metal deflector. Big bull bar. The chromed bumper. Uh, I cannot have this yet because it'll remove the other stuff. We've got left hood mirror. Why not? Let's let's add more stuff. You know, none of this stuff is really necessary for the trucks that you don't drive because, well, you'll pretty much never see it. Uh, but hey, why not? Let's actually give this guy... No, let's, let's give him a big thing. There we go. Slightly off-center, though, because there's no central... Wait, is there? It's a little bit annoying, actually. Yeah. So I would have to do it like this. Get rid of this one. And then put a small one here. And a small one there. So how is this pattern? Yeah, l and let's put one here as well with a flash pattern of three. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Alright, then we have the roof thing. But I think if we put any of this on... Oh yeah, there we go. This is the central one. Yeah, let's have more stuff. Actually, let's have pattern 2. No, let's have pattern 1. I don't know. Pattern 4. There we go. Let's, let's have that. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, we've got chrome windows, of course. I'll leave the tires as they are. I won't add the flags from this stuff. Yeah, it's kind of a shame that a lot that most of the stuff doesn't actually give you any stat things. Like the exhaust, for example. So you've got the SCRs as well, which I believe go back here and are like supposed to be more environmentally friendly and such. But they don't look as cool. Uh right. Everything else is advanced mud flaps. Long advanced long mud flaps. Let's do that. Alright, we're pretty much done. Uh, confirm. 235,000. Well, 236,000. Let's purchase this. Send it to Los Angeles, where only garage is at the moment. Perfect. And let's also hire a driver. So let's check Olympia here. Uh, okay, never mind. Hire a driver. <laughs> let's get this guy. He's got uh, all the stuff that I do also, so that's going to be pretty good. Uh, you're going to this garage, and you're taking the truck. Perfect. Excellent. More money to be had. All right. Now, let's make some money our, on our own. Oh, we've got some special transports. Yeah, why not? We can do those. Oh, I like... Ooh. I like that though. It's 42 tons. And it's... Ooh. I am very tempted to get that. Of course it's bloody articulated. Um, 
Darn it. I would like to go to Aberdeen here. Oh, they got 55 ton. Oh, no. Wait. Never mind, because you cannot actually click on these. Yeah. Okay, fine. Let's let's take this one, and then we'll see. Time to hit the road. All right, that's quite. It's right there, actually. Uh, uh, resetting the camera. Uh, where are we going? Left. Yeah, that's gonna be... If if nothing else, I'm gonna go back here off-camera and get that 55-ton trailer. Stay left. Uh, for the... Wait, what? Oh, that's how we go, okay. Stay left. Oh, we actually have a red here. Never mind. I can't see it. Uh, there we go. Vim. Yeah, I would like to have a long trip with a very heavy trailer. 55 tons. I mean, that will require... That will be quite a workout for the truck. And I like those because you actually have to go through all the gears pretty much. And you have to shift a lot. Uh, especially on uh, going up slopes. And then, of course, you have to be very careful going down slopes as well. Wait a second. Was this a one-way? Yeah, this is a one-way. I believe that means I could have just turned left on a red. Go Don't straight. I know I'm going way over the speed limit, but I didn't want this to turn red. Get ready to turn right. Oh, there's a lot of uh, one-way streets here. That's pretty cool. Turn right. Yeah. I know you want to go red just before I get there. Turn left. Oh, this is the place we got the... Is it? No. Turn left. I thought it was the place where we got the ship from. But I suppose not. Finally, we are here. Alright. Let's take the big ass, whatever it is, tech... Massive tech part. Look at that thing. 50... Th oh, that's 35 tons. Never mind. Alright, let's take that. Continue. Let's do this. Of course it's raining, and of course it's night time. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez, this thing is wide. Warning, this vehicle makes wide-ass turns. <laughs> it's gotta move on. <laughs> Being a bloody brat. Okay. Yes, we know all about that. Uh, let's do this. Let's get our lights on. Wait, what? It's not a very good position. Let me just check something. Watch out, it's gonna get loud in three, two, one. Well, sort of loud. Yeah, that's... It's not a very good position here. For turning. I do not like that. Right. We're gonna make a wide turn here. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course I have to be careful about this ship here as well. Oh jeez. No, we're fine. We're completely fine. Let's avoid this little ship here. Hey, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. So I'm gonna go through. Oh. Damn it. Can I manage to get through? <sighs> this is already going great. Oh yeah, why did I go... Why didn't I go wider? Man, this, this bloody thing is so wide. It also doesn't help that you never get... 
any help from the uh, from the spotters and such. Okay, that should be better. Not great, but better. Who the heck came up with those bloody gates there? For these giant deliveries. Okay. Turn right. So that's obviously all blocked off. Okay, my trailer's doing good. Yeah, this trailer is wide here. I'll, I'll do beacons as well. This is going to be uh, slightly problematic when there's cars coming from the other side. Full power this, I mean full throttle. Yeah, see, that was, that was quite close. Stay right, and then turn right. Trailer is wide. Stay right. Full power. Okay, they don't want me to go any faster, it seems. And I kind of don't blame them. I mean, the... <laughs> I wonder if they would ticket me if I was to turn off my lights here. <laughs> Uh-oh, incoming traffic. No, he's going to try and get them out of the way for us. Unfortunately, I don't really see where the trailer is on the left side very well because of the rain. Well, there we go. We'll just have to take it carefully. Power! Lake Crescent. Yeah, it's quite, quite annoying that most of these special transports are at night. It makes sense, of course, but it's a little bit annoying. And of course, it always has to rain. <laughs> Do you see the uh, reflection of the amber lights of the trailer in the uh, in the railing? Oh, jeez. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, look. If I go close, see in the right uh, rear view mirror. Do you see that? Look at that. And if I go further away, there you go. That's pretty cool, that's a nice touch. Oh, look at that! Another almost special transport. No, he just has a very heavy load there. Alright, Mr. Officer, you can speed up a little bit. Okay, I take that back. You don't have to. <laughs> if he breaks now, we are in uh, for quite a nasty shock. It would actually be fun to test emergency braking at this point. You know, just slam on the brakes, see what happens. How long it takes us to actually stop. Especially considering I have brakes set to fairly weak. So, uh, good. Now I don't even see where the right side of my trailer is. Thankfully, though, the police officer here is getting people to go into the side of the road there, which is quite nice. Love that turbo. That's why I also like getting really heavy loads 
longer trips over mountain passes and such because you just listen to that lovely lovely whistle all the time uh, uh, I'm between a rock and hard place okay this is actually good the little amber lights on the right side of the trailer at night like this where there's no street lighting actually help me to see how close I am to the uh, guardrail <laughs> there we go I'm quite close This is enjoyable, but slightly nerve-wracking at the same time. It's nice that they uh, refill your truck as well. I think you get to keep that. I don't think they siphon the fuel out after you're done. <laughs> so if you want to, if you want to save like a thousand dollars each time you have to refill your truck, just do a special transport. If it's in the vicinity, of course. Yeah, look at that. I'm almost in the center of the road. I'm pretty much in the center of the road at the moment, and my trailer is very close to the cart rail. Not very nice. Come on, man. Yeah, I have to take this a little wider. Because that was a little too close for comfort. Even though I do have to say, while reversing these articulated articulated trailers socks, um, they are actually very well behaved on the road when doing turns and such. Yeah, if this was not a special transport, I would already get ticketed for tailgating. But again, this is a game. <laughs> and yes, I know that uh, tailgating will not make him go faster. <laughs> Now, my only concern when he does this maneuver, where he forces the people on the other side to stick to their uh, extreme side of the road, um, is that he will the AI will suddenly cock up something and suddenly break. And obviously the police car will be able to break much faster than I will. And that will result in lovely, lovely damage. And probably tickets as well. Wow, look at all that. All the lights and everything. That's really cool. It's almost midnight. <laughs> They've stopped, stopped all the trucks here. Those drivers must not be very happy. Big ass load coming through. One and a half hours to get there. And it's a pretty uneventful road. Not many intersections and such, so that's all right. And our instant fuel consumption isn't that bad, actually. Really? We're breaking to 30? Now he'll probably speed up. Power! For the corner, of course. Okay, this is gonna get interesting. My my steering wheel is vibrating here on this road. Oh yeah, that's mostly due to the full throttle. Seven low. Let's go. It's very close to the right side of the road. Look at that. The trailer, I mean. Come on, get a move on. We can do 40. I ain't scared. I ain't scared of nothing. We can do 40. Lovely weather for this. Lovely, absolutely lovely. I love it. Come on. Come on. Mr. Police Officer. Is that? Yeah, he keeps up the speed. Well, more or less, I suppose. I don't think he wants to go much faster than 38, 39. Actually, the uh, beacons we have are helping quite a lot here with the positioning of the trailer back there in the darkness. 
so that's quite nice. I th you see that? There's, you can just see the lights of the rear vehicle. Yeah, there we go. No, they're gone behind the trailer. But you can just see the lights of the rear escort. Why am I slowing down? There we go. We can do 39. Now, I can also do uh, high beams, and I don't think the police officer will mind. <laughs> but it does give you a little bit more of a view of what's going on. But yeah, that would be kind of unrealistic. Not a lot of traffic, which is most likely why we are doing this at night. Makes sense. I do kind of wish the strobe lights, the LEDs on these police cars and other emergencies would be a little bit more realistic. Because they, they, they don't just go like that. They, they have various... Well, I suppose they could be choosing a certain pattern for this, um, but I don't know. If they wanted to make it rea really realistic, I believe I'm actually running a mod for them to, but it, I think it's just a color correction. So they're not, because in the original they're like almost purplish, the blue. Um, but if they really wanted to make it realistic, they would add lots more lights to these US cop cars and also make them a lot brighter because holy crippoli are these lights I mean you know LEDs on emergency vehicles are really bright as is but the US cop cars really love to have well all emergency vehicles really love to have a whole Christmas tree complement of LEDs on there pretty much everywhere that they can cram them into they will. And uh, I do have to say, at night, it's actually quite blinding. It's not very nice at all. And I think it really detracts from the original idea of wanting to be seen. I mean, you know that there's a, an emergency vehicle there somewhere, you just don't know where it is. Because you just get completely blinded by the strobes and all the lights and it's, uh, it's a little bit insane. Alright, I should probably concentrate on not crashing this trailer here, instead of babbling. Slow down because we are coming up to a turn. Stay right, and then turn right. I don't think there's anyone coming there. It's a little bit fast, this corner. How's that doing? That's doing fine. It's actually... <laughs> I'm actually surprised we didn't take the traffic lights with us. Okay, now this guy will just park over there, I think. Turn left. I don't think he will follow us here. No, he will. Thanks for standing there. That really helps. Jeez. Oh okay, that's that's fine. Lugging the engine a little bit, but okay. So where do we need to park it? That's my main concern because I do not want to make a mistake in having to reverse this trailer or turn it around. Well, that's close actually. Okay, so we need was a nice ride. We need to just drive over there and park it. God, I wish I could see a little bit more. Yes, I know I've got external cameras, but I don't like doing that it's cuz it's kind of cheating. Okay, let's hope that turning like this will be enough. Hey, 
yeah, I think we'll be fine. Come on. And come on. Yes, excellent. Alrighty. Okay, there you go, 118 miles. Only 22 gallons consumed, that's not much. Well, thank you very much for watching, as always, and we'll continue next time when we hopefully get a really heavy load. Have a good one. Bye-bye.